Hello there, thank you for joining me. Well, today I'm out with the XP Deus 2 version 1.1 and there's a couple of little audio tips I want to share with you. I've got a few targets marked out and we're going to go over these targets but I'm going to give you two different audio choices and I want you to listen to them carefully. Let's just call it audio 1 and audio 2. Now, I want you to have a listen to these audios on the different targets and see what you think. Now, maybe we're not even listening for enhanced depth. Maybe we're listening for more added information, perhaps better iron discrimination. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you what audios I've been using. So the two programs I'm going to be using here are the standard general program, program number one, and the sensitive full tone program because I think these two programs give a good contrast between sounds. The general's a two tone, the sensitive full tone uses the full tone audio. So some of these targets could be iron, I don't know, but what we're listening out for here is signal clarity. Well, here we go, we've got our first target, so let's have a listen to it. First of all, audio one. Now that is the general program. Let's go on to the sensitive full tone, audio one still. There's very little there, hardly anything. Now, that is because the sensitive full tone uses a higher reactivity, so you're losing a little bit of depth. So I think this is quite a deep target. Just for argument's sake, I'm gonna go down to reactivity 1.5 with the sensitive full tone, and let's see if it brings this signal back. Audio number one still. Well, to me, that doesn't sound very good at all. But let's go on to audio two and see what you think of that. First of all, let's start off with the general program. Okay, sensitive full tone. Now let's turn the reactivity up to standard now. Reactivity three. Now that's an interesting point, isn't it? Audio one, we couldn't even hear that target on sensitive full tone with reactivity three, the factory default. But with audio two, with reactivity at default three, we can hear that target. So there's a difference between one and two. Number two, you can hear the targets. Number one, you've virtually lost the target. So let's go back to the general program. This is audio two again. And I think it's about there. I don't think this is a good target at all. There's too much of an iron buzz with it. But it was interesting to hear those two different audios. Obviously, I haven't heard them. I'll have to wait till I play the video back on my computer to see if there is any major difference. But from where I'm standing, I think there's quite a difference. I'm going in the right direction. Let's see if we can get it on the MI6. 
Ja. Well, there it is, look, it's a tiny little blob of iron. But we kind of knew that, didn't we, by the audio? But I still think um, audio two has it over audio one on this particular target. Let's go on to the next one. Here we go, second target. Let's see what we got. First of all, audio number one with the general program. quite a low conductor, it's coming up about 30. Sensitive full tone. Okay, audio number two, start off with a general program. Sensitive full tone. Back to the general program. Right, okay, time for the MI6. See if we can pick it up. And there it is. Well, I think that's probably a broken Jetton, something like that. A nice low conductive target. Audio number one. That's the general, let's go to sensitive full tone. And audio number two, start off with a general program. 84. Sensitive full tone. No problems there, a nice smooth sound. So let's have a look, see what it is. out just a worn sixpence or something I think it is yeah I'm pretty sure it's a sixpence not a great condition but it was a lovely bright signal wasn't it you couldn't really get that one wrong but what did the audio sound like one or two what one did you prefer well there you have it three interesting targets one you couldn't miss the other was a low conductor and the first target we dug there was the blob of iron, but I think we all knew that was iron before we dug it. Okay, let's have a little talk about what I've done with these two different audios. I wonder how many of you guys out there have actually guessed what I've done here. Audio one was the audio through the speaker there, and audio two was 
a microphone inside the headphone cup. So you were listening to the speaker and the headphones through a microphone. I was hoping it would give you a better insight of the true XP sounds because you tend to lose a lot of the quality through the XP speaker, yet you keep the finesse through the headphones. So I haven't watched this video back, but I hope Audio 2 sounds the best. So what I'm trying to say here is, to get the best out of your XP, it's always best to use the XP headphones rather than the speaker. But on a lot of my videos, you see me using the speaker because it's a lot easier to transmit the sound through the radio mic to camera. If I put the microphone inside the ear cup all the time, it tends to pick up the wind noise. So again, you've got a trashed audio. So that's it guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope that's given you a little bit more insight into your XP Deus 2. Target identification, headphones are a must. I think you get more information with the headphones so you can better identify targets. Anyway, I'm going on. I'll see you on the next video, bye for now.